In this Cinelera tutorial I will show you how to create a fast motion video clip. <laughs> I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Cinelera. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well the first thing to note is I'm using Cinelera version GG Infinity and I suggest you um, swap over to that if you've got Cinelera already on your system. The other versions of Cinelera aren't worth a light in my opinion. I've left a link in the description below on how to install Infinity as well. OK, so I've brought this video clip into Cinelera and I want to speed it up. I won't bother playing it. Um, I'll just very quickly go into how I do it. Left click on video along here and then left click attach effect. Now what you're looking for is something called reframe RT. And it's quite a way down the bottom. It is also in this folder here but it's just as quick to find it this way. So there is there reframe RT. Left click on this, then left click OK. Now if you left click on the magnifying glass, show controls, you get some options come up. Set it at stretch. I think that's the default setting, but make sure it's set it stretch, although I don't think it makes much difference. And what you're looking to do is keep the input frames at 1 and what you're looking to do is literally reduce the output frames so in this instance I've changed this to 0.5 you can left click on these arrows here or you can manually type in a speed but your pointer must be in the output box the minute you move it away you won't change anything so if I wanted to take this down that's fine move it away I can't add anything until it's over the output frames box and I'll left click on this. Now I know from experience this will work so I won't bother playing it back without any audio um, and that might be fine for you, you might want to render fast forward without audio and that's done in the render box but if you want to render the audio as well left click on audio and next to effect, attach effect, left click and this time you're looking for resample RT and again it's down the bottom and I'll probably go straight past it until I find it. There you are, resample RT, left click on this and left click OK. Now just check that you've got strips on both your audio if you haven't, you'll have to right click on the track that hasn't got anything and then go into attach effect and manually attach another uh, resample uh, track. But in this instance, this worked. Occasionally, it doesn't. Now, again, go into the show controls um, magnifier and change your setting here. I've already done this, so I'm just going to close this down. Now, make sure you're at the beginning, and I'm going to just play this. I don't know if you hear the audio. But this happens because we've reduced the length of the visible clip, you'll end up with a black section here. You can remove it, but to be honest with you, unless you've got a really long clip, what I would do is literally just go in and render your video. So I'll go ahead and quickly render this, um, and I'll come back to it in a minute. Okay, well, that's finished rendering, is I've called it fast too for some reason or another. I wouldn't even bother bringing it back in and changing all this. What I would literally do is just go into file and then left click new project. Make sure your settings match the original video and left click OK. And then literally just bring your video back in. Right, 
right click and go to match um, all although it should be okay but I do this as a matter of habit double click and we'll go back to the beginning always make sure you're at the beginning in the video tracks set the beginning up by as I said I assume you know what you're doing here by the end point and then all I would do is just find the end point and now you're good to go and render your video without the um, black section at the end I shan't bother doing this but the video you'll see and you saw in the beginning of the tutorial will be this video here as it's rendered now so hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers